All right, welcome to our distributive property lesson. We're going to look through a couple of examples um, of using the distributive property to take an expression in factored form and turning it into an equivalent expression in expanded form. To, re to refresh our memory, our distributive property equation is A times the quantity B plus C equals A times B plus A times C. So let's take a look at our expression and figure out what matches with A, B, and C. Well, first of all, in the distributive property equation, A is outside the parentheses and is being multiplied by everything inside. In our expression, that's going to be the number 6. So A equals 6 for this problem. B right here matches x in our expression so b equals x and c matches 2 so c equals 2 so what does the distributive property tell us to do it says that we first have to multiply a times b since a is 6 and b is x, we're going to start out by multiplying 6 times x. Next, we're going to add a times c, which in our expression is 6 times 2. Okay, so we've expanded our expression. Now we just have to simplify. 6 times x equals 6x. Six, 6 times 2 equals positive 12. And so our expanded form is 6x plus 12. All right, let's take a look at another very similar example. The only thing different about our expression this time is instead of a plus x plus 2, we have an x minus 2. Our distributive property has a plus in the formula. So how are we going to use the distributive property when we have a minus sign? Well, basically, what, this, what the only thing this is, is we remember that x minus 2 is the same thing as x plus negative 2. When we think of it that way, we can figure out that our a is once again 6. So a equals 6. Our b is once again x but now our c is going to be a little different c we have plus c over here we have minus 2 but we rewrote that as plus negative 2 so c is actually going to be negative 2 All right, so now let's write our equation. We have to do a times b, so 6 times x plus a times c, which is 6 times negative 2 plus 6 times negative 2. And now we can simplify. 6 times x equals 6x plus 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. Now we don't like to say 6x plus negative 12. We would like to simplify that one more time to our final answer which is 6x minus 12. So that's our expanded form for 6 times x minus 2. 
All right, our third example looks very similar to our last one. The only difference is our expression now has a negative six out front instead of a positive six. So let's, uh, let's see how this expands. First of all, our a, instead of being a six, is now going to be a negative six. So a equals negative six. Our b is gonna be x, just like our last example. So that's our b right there. And our c, just like our last example, is going to be negative two. So let's use our distributive property. First we wanna do a times b, so that's gonna be negative six times x. And then we're going to add a times c, negative six times negative two. And now we simplify. Negative six times x is negative six x. Negative six times negative two, that's a negative times a negative, so that's gonna be a positive 12. and it looks like we are completely simplified. So our expanded form is negative 6x plus 12.